So first of all, what is influence? Because influence and persuasion are not the same. Influence and persuasion are not the same. So I've delved into both, and we actually have been teaching persuasion skills for years to assistants. But I wanted to get crystal clear on this. So influence is the capacity to have an effect on the character, development, or behavior of someone else or something, or the effect itself in the situation. It's a powerful and subtle form of social or professional interaction that enables individuals to guide or impact others, decisions, opinions, or thinking, often without resorting to direct authority. Um, so let's break it down a little bit more. Um, I have a chart, and I know all of you are going to ask for my chart, but we'll see about it. What I wanted to do is, is really compare influence and persuasion. So if you just want to jot notes under each of these, it'll really help you understand the differences. So influence, it's a broader term, and it refers to the ability, again, that we have, as I told you, on a character, a situation, someone's behavior. We can influence that. We can influence um, the, the way events flow. Persuasion is a subset of influence. So it falls under influence. It especially involves convincing someone to do something or change their beliefs. So you really work at being persuasive. Like I said, I teach, we teach persuasion skills. So it's something you really have to be very strategic about where influence could be more subtle. And I'll tell you more, it'll make sense as we go along. And as I'm going through this and explaining it to you, I want you to think, are you influential just by what you're hearing, the definitions? Also think about, do you persuade? Do you use that tool? Do you use that technique throughout your work? Second, influence. It often operates subtly. As I said, it's not that direct force. Persuasion is more direct and it's active. So you're consciously knowing you are trying to do that. Third, influence can be a long-term process. It's because you build trust, you build credibility with people over time, you build that rapport and so then you become influential. You can become influential with them. Persuasion is seen as a shorter term interaction. It's like right now in this moment, I can try to persuade you on something. I could say, let's say, work at persuading you to buy my book, okay? That would be right now in the immediate. But I can influence you over time. Those of you who have watched my webinars for years, by watching me, by hearing my knowledge, by bonding with me, I have grown an influence probably with you, where I've influenced maybe some of your thoughts or opinions in a good way. So do you see the difference? 